Hey, it's Tim here. In Tableau 2021.3, Tableau have added a new capability which allows explained data to realize when there are null data types causing issues with aggregations and therefore sort of alerting you to problems you might have that are being caused by nulls. Now, in order to show you this, I'm actually going to go to a website called Markaroo. I'll put it up on screen now and you can see that I've actually built a null data set. Now, I don't know how many of these I need. I actually probably only need one of them to be fair. But what we've done is we've essentially created some ID numbers and then we've got a progressively uh, sort of a decreasing level of nulls in each of these columns. If I actually look at the preview, you can see what that ends up looking like. Uh, and you can see that essentially the final column has very few nulls, but the first column has tons of nulls. This is sometimes how data comes out of systems. So those nulls uh, are technically empty, but when you process nulls in aggregations, they can cause errors, they can cause problems, especially if you try and do things like calculating averages, Tableau will actually skip past the nulls and therefore you'll get the wrong average if you maybe needed to replace those nulls with zeros. So let's take a look and see how that works in Tableau. I'll go over to Tableau here and I'm going to connect the CSV. I've already downloaded it onto my desktop. So uh, downloaded the file for Mockaroo. And I'm just gonna go to the text file here and connect to my null test data and open it up. Now that we've opened it up, um, you can see a couple of things. What's really interesting with this release is so Tableau have sort of changed this data connection window, I've not really said anything. So this always hints that something else is coming in the future. And I think it might be related to a recent announcement they had about the enterprise sort of uh, version of Tableau, this new version of Tableau that they're talking about. I never really understand these cell speak. It's sort of weird. It's like a big press release with no real sort of uh, product feature to go with it. This sort of like the screenshot they were showing is a version of Tableau that I've never seen in a beta or a pre-release. So why are they coming out with it now when they've got nothing to show? Have no idea. But nonetheless, here we are. You can see there's a new element here. Uh, you can kind of do some interesting things with it. We can collapse it. Let's not get distracted by that. Let's get stuck into this null data set. You can see the nulls are registering here in Tableau. So let's go ahead to sheet number one and let's open this up. Now, one of the things I'm going to do here is just build a very simple scatter plot, but I've got to be careful because if I build a scatter plot using my IDs, well, this explain data feature is not going to work because the explain data feature is only working when we're aggregating data points. So let me just tell you what I mean by that. Let's just grab um, some data points here. So I'll grab the 50% nulls and the 50, 80% nulls. Now, when I click on this blue dot, the reason this won't trigger any null explanation type is because there is no null aggregated into this one data point. This feature only works when there are nulls being aggregated inside of a data point. And so by definition, this view, this scatter plot is not showing me any nulls because they're all not in the view. If something renders null, then it doesn't render in the view. So what I need to do is aggregate these points up in some way or form. Now you could do that visually. You could decide to do this. So I could, I could sort of decide to draw a little box. And once I've got those in a box, I could uh, group them like this. And that's sort of called visual grouping. I'm gonna go ahead and maybe create one more group over here. I'll just create three uh, large groups and we'll just go ahead and do this and just do this. I'm really hoping this actually generates the feature that I want. And when we do those groupings here in the visualizations, not only do you see the colors change, I've got blue and orange, but you should also see that it's created a group field over here on the left hand side. So what we can actually do is go into that and edit the group. And for the remaining fields, you'll see that it's already created an other grouping that's automatically done when you sort of visualize it inside of uh, any sort of visualization you do the grouping. So let's hit OK. That's pretty much uh, where we want to go. And I'm going to remove the ID from the detail field. And that gives us just three points. And now we're ready to test this feature. I'm going to go ahead and click on this top right dot here. And once I've done that, I'm just going to uh, go over here and you'll see that unfortunately I don't get the capability to sort of break this down. And that's because this, I think explained data has not been sort of rigged to work with these groups properly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try another way of grouping these and we'll, we'll sort of give this another attempt. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm, I, it doesn't want to work with these groups. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to force it to not group everything into other. So we're just gonna bring everything out here and leave those out on their own and click okay. I think what's actually happening is that the other grouping is actually what's breaking this. So 
We've removed it, but that's fine because we can still see these other data points. And now you see explain data actually wants to work. Um, it's just over here where my sort of cursor is. You can see there that, are, that it's there. So let's go ahead and click on that and let's see what explanation types we get. Now, one last thing, if I'm trying to force this, what I probably want to do is I want to go down here and make sure that I can see that explanation type in the configuration. So let's go ahead, click on that wheel, go to explanation types. You can see I've got a full cohort of explanation types here. And the new one is actually there. Percentage of nulls uh, is, is actually added to the list. So let's go ahead and remove this and click OK. And now what Tableau is going to be doing is it's only going to be looking for the percentage of null sort of error. So what I'll do is I'll click back out. And I'll click on this blue one now to see if I can trigger this. So let's go ahead and click on the light bulb. And immediately we see two sort of issues. It's looking at the field 50% of null and 80% of null. It says it's higher than expected. When we go through, you'll see that there's no explanation. So additional fields were not available for consideration in this analysis. So it's not really getting anything from that first one. Let's go ahead to the second one. And again, the same thing, nothing's really being used here. So that's that's sort of a shame. Uh, let's go back and let's click on one of these other ones. Let's go to this one here. Uh, let's run the explanation again and let's see if we get it here. So we don't get it here. And uh, if I go over there, unfortunately, we're not getting it there. So it's sort of strange. This is not triggering how I expected it to trigger. I would have hoped that um, the percentage of nulls within these records is actually quite high because, of course, I'm using fields from both the 50 and the 80 percent of null uh, setup. So maybe there's something interesting there with the way that it's working, that it's just sort of not bringing them in. What I will do is I will... I don't want to filter the data, so I'll just show the data the default position, and I'll keep I'll keep doing that just so that all the records are there. And then what I'll do is I'll go back into this analysis. Uh, let's go back into this analysis and look at the explanation again, and then see if this time it comes through. It doesn't, unfortunately, come through, which is sort of odd. Now, what I, what will happen here is if I look at uh, this sort of group of explanations, unfortunately, you see here. Exp explanation cannot be calculated for, n for a mark that is null. It even knows that it's null. So unfortunately, this is sort of strange. I don't know what's going on here. Let's try one more thing. Let's try this. Let's uh, bring in the list. I'm actually going to do this manually. I don't know. I don't know why this is the case, but I'm just going to try this. Sometimes this has worked in other cases. So you go manually grouping stuff and then suddenly it all works. So let's uh, let's uh, let's spread this out so I can actually see the grouped ones at the top. Here you go. And let's do this and uh, let's just manually group these. And what I'm hoping is that I do catch a decent amount of nulls in each of these groups. So let's just scroll down a little bit. I'll make this group the largest group, just so that the totals are sort of really high. And uh, what we'll see here is that the remaining items, what we'll do is we'll put them into a final group. And because there's no other grouping, what I'm hoping is that this because this has all been manually grouped, you hopefully should expect this to work a little bit better. So uh, I'm going to go into a new sheet and I'm now going to use the second grouping that's just been created here. It's called ID group one. I'm going to put that on color so we get, yes, a few dots. 80% of null on rows, 50% of null on columns. That gives us a scatter plot. Now we're on to take two. So let's hit this blue mark and rerun this analysis and let's see what happens now. So again, this higher than expected and no explanation type there. Go into uh, this one over here. Let's let's I'm just going to click on this to run again. And ah, uh, finally, <laughs> we finally found it. So I don't know what's going on here. I don't know if this percentage of nulls feature has some sort of weird condition or weird behavior. Um, I am playing around with a sort of machine learning algorithm and maybe by creating such a high percentage of nulls, I'm making the data set look normal, maybe potentially, and that's what's causing this issue. So we don't know, but the analysis we wanted is actually here. So um, you can see here that it does actually class my other uh, data points. You can see these data points here are essentially uh, these other ones here on the chart. Okay, so the blue one, this one, is actually the one that I've selected over there. So that's how this is working. Let's clear these annotations. And you can see that it does recognize there's a high percentage of nulls. We've got a little axis here across the bottom, and then we've got the number of uh, basically records. The, the value is quite high because it's just summing everything up in that column. 
I want to see this as a separate chart. You can see that it's actually here. And if, if you've ever noticed this, um, if you double click uh, inside of the field, you can actually see the calculation the Tableau has created. So if I double click that, you'll see this double forward slash percentage of nulls. But if I scroll down, you'll actually see the uh, whole calculation is hiding on the second row. If you're not sure about that, just hold control and drag it over into the calculation window then click edit and you can see the calculation in full there. So it's sum of if nulls percentage than one else zero. It's essentially just creating this on the fly in the background to give us this analysis. So um, that's interesting. This feature works. This is definitely there. It's definitely in the settings. We might be triggering it in a, triggering it in a slightly different way. Let me try one last thing. Let me see if we can get this more consistently by using something with a lower percentage of null. So let's go to 20% of null and 10% of nulls. So here we have a much smaller percentage of records with nulls. And let's go ahead and try and see if we can get this on the data point. So let's go ahead, click this first one here, click on the little light bulb, and uh, let's go look at this value. And again, we don't get it on this record. Uh, we go to the next one, we don't get it on that one. Maybe it's just that particular one, it's cursed. Let's run it again on the second one. Um, and we don't get it this time on this one. And we don't get it again on this one. So let's go to the next one. Um, I'm really now curious, how is this algorithm that they've sort of built in here working? Because we really had to hunt for that explanation, even though I've essentially cooked a data set that, um, you know, should uh, be looking at nulls. And so there we go. We finally get it on this green one. Now, I don't know what's different about this green data point compared to these other data points, but hey, Tableau, if you're watching, uh, download the data source, and let me know um, what's going on here. What is the explanation really behind this? Because um, in many ways, there are nulls in this whole entire data set. I've sort of cooked it up and I'm expecting that analysis to show after a specific threshold. Maybe it's 5%, maybe it's 20%, maybe it's 30%. Maybe you're looking at my data set and you're coming up with a percentage and that's being normalized. And what I will do is if I grab the documentation, uh, for the record, when I do these videos, I always have the documentation up. I, I really don't know everything off the top of my head. So on the other screen here, I have the documentation and you can see here, the explanation of the feature is actually pretty good. Um, if we go down, uh, let's let's go look at um, nulls, uh, null explanation. So here we go, we have null values. There's nothing here in the documentation that mentions a threshold. So uh, it just says null value exp uh, explanation type calls out a situation where there's a higher than expected amount of missing data in a mark. I guess the question is, what's a higher than expected amount of missing data? How is that actually derived? We don't know yet, maybe we'll find out. It indicates the fraction of target measure values that are null and how the null values might be contributing to the aggregate value of that measure. Okay, so the percentage of values that are null, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. next, optionally exclude null values in the mark. Okay, yeah, perfect. So in essence, I think this is the, really the key thing. How is that value derived? What is a higher than expected amount? Higher than expected amount for what kind of data? Where is that value? How is it deriving that value? If I cook up a data set full of nulls, well, that maybe normalizes the nulls and therefore you're not gonna alert me as often. Maybe with this green one, I have a lower percentage of nulls. I really don't know. I'm not about to go sort of digging through it either to find out. So yeah, Tableau, if you're watching, I'd really love to know um, what's going on there. And yeah, maybe you can help shed some light for other people who might be relying on this feature. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Uh, be sure to check out some of the other features in 2021.3. Um, it's sort of strange that we're sort of uh, playing with Tableau in this way. Um, again, the beta program has actually been pretty good. We've actually got a decent chance to try some of these features out. But again, some of them are just brand new. We haven't had them in the beta process to play with. So um, we are going to find things like this and bugs when these videos won't be as smooth as you think. You probably saw this explanation and the length of the video and thought, what's going on here? This looks like an interesting feature. And most of it was just <laughs> troubleshooting. So that's sometimes just how it is. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.